What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my let's play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 for the Xbox 360. Today, we have a triple threat match with Mark Henry and Mr. Kennedy at Armageddon. And according to Teddy Long, if I win this triple threat match, I get myself a title opportunity. Against which title? Who knows? War of Words. We've got three superstars in a pay-per-view match who want to beat the heck out of each other. Now, what could be better than that? We don't get uh, Taz and Cole breaking this match down or anything? No? Really? Alright. Anyhow, the end of the week is upon us. It is Friday and uh, the news has slowed down just a bit. It's been kind of a ridiculous week for things and stuff going on, uh, but it's kind of slowed down just a tad bit here uh, in the end of the week, so there aren't that many news stories to really discuss here uh, as I would usually have on any given day uh, on this show. But it's Friday. We have a perplexing Pixels tonight of Bully in a few hours, so I guess go watch that. And that's out at like 8 p.m. Eastern earlier on Patreon, as I usually do. Um, and, no, can't do that. Our first news story is that they have a confirmed second season of GLOW on Netflix. And at some point, I should really get around to watching that first season. Uh, I still have to, I still have to finish watching the new season of MST3K, and I still have to start watching that new season of Twin Peaks. I am pretty far behind on just about everything that's not a video game these days. Uh, it's, making videos takes a lot of time, as it turns out. As it turns out. Um, so there's that bit of weirdness. But yes, I've heard good things. So I'll get around to watching that first season of GLOW eventually. But um, that's not on my immediate agenda. But yes, second season confirms. So I, I guess it did I guess it did well enough for Netflix uh, that they would do another season of that show. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's Mr... Kicking me in the head. Kicking me in the head. Um, elsewhere, we have some news from GFW. Not that I really want to dis dis discuss them too much, but they are cutting costs even further. And they've already cut costs quite a bit. They're cutting costs even further uh, to film, what is this, uh, 12 weeks of TV in six days. And honestly, you feel bad for the boys having to do that many matches in that short amount of time, especially all of your top guys just having to have constant matches is, uh, you know, that's how you get hurt. That's a lot of guys who did the G1 for New Japan have lingering injuries because they have so many matches in such a short period of time. Uh, so that's just, it's a, it's a rough business and filming anything uh, in that kind of a time frame, uh, that many matches on your body, it's going to take a toll regardless of who you are. Uh, and I gotta stop slapping around at this, this referee. It's kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem. So, uh, pretty soon, you will have, like, le le legitimately three months of spoilers for GFW because they're gonna tape it all in the span of a week, which is crazy. That's crazy. That is absolutely, patently insane! Insane. Uh, Emma Locke, continuing to apply... Also, why is there a rope break in a triple threat match? Usually triple threat's no DQ, so why should being on the ropes matter? Seriously. Why should the submission hold matter in a, in a triple threat? I don't... Monkey flip! I don't understand. I wanted to get him from the front to grapple him, and I not managed to botch that pretty hard, as I tend to botch things on this show pretty hard. Anyway... We have one more news story, because I told you, it's a pretty slow news day. And our one additional news story, Octopus, Octopus, um, is that Darren Young is cleared for competition. So, Mr. No Days Off, make Darren Young great again, uh, is, he had that nasty uh, elbow injury that he had to have surgery for. Uh, you know, it was like a freak, uh, it was like a freak accident type, type deal. And he is now cleared for, com for competition once again. Now, what are the chances they put him back together with Titus in the, in the Titus brand? That would not surprise me. They've had those guys 
either be teammates or feud so many times that it wouldn't stop to say, ah, the newest guy in the, in the Titus brand, because what else are you going to do with Darren Young in 2017? That's my question. I don't know anymore. Mark Henry, not cool. I wasn't even facing him. I was facing Kennedy, and instead, you want to make it your beardness to deal with me. Oh no, what? What even was that? What even was that? I am really gotta change that move because it's really just harsh in my buzz, bruh. Five star slug splash! Totally botched it, totally missed it. What else is new? Mark Henry. You want some? Face Mark Henry. What's that? What's that? Slug sploder onto the world's strongest man. Good. God almighty. How is there a rope break? I'm sorry. Look, it's triple threat. There should be no DQs. That's kind of how this usually works. It's not going to the top rope. It's not. It's not a good look. Woo! Right over Mark Henry. Into another finishing maneuver. Kennedy, you're next. I've already hit one slug exploder. Mister! So yes, Teddy Long has said, I get a shot if I can win this match. Now, can I win this match? Oh, I got, it got reversed. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and as we've seen on this show, if I don't win, that's alright. We keep on moving on. We keep on doing our thing thing and making this show happen uh, as best we can. Because that's kind of how I run things on this channel. I honestly don't have time to keep refilming things, to be honest. Um, that would be a just a giant... A giant... What? No! No! How about no? Mark Henry. How about no, Mark Henry? Grapple Mark Henry. Grapple Mark Henry! Do another slug exploder. You've got one. Do one. You want some? Come get... No. I'm hitting back! I'm hitting... I hate you. Stop doing the same move! Doing the same move! Because it's not going to matter because rope break. Not going to matter because rope break. Of course, now I have to actually... Focus on... Nope. Yes! No! I almost had another slug butter there. I almost had another one. It was almost gonna happen. Alright, well, this is gonna be me doing a slug -a Oh, Mark Henry, World Strongest Slam! Mark Henry, you can't pin him from there, because... Rope break. Kennedy! Yes, do it! One! Two! Three! Oh! He's all red! I should have had that. That was the perfect opportunity. Ref bump! The perfect opportunity to make this happen. And I get screwed. What else is new? This is not going to matter. Nope. Like, I'm hitting back, and the thing where you want to face the other guy is definitely uh, a problem. Ref's like, you obey my commands as a, ref as a referee. You obey. Oh, Mark Henry busted open. Kennedy getting hit with that same move that I keep doing. That's fine. Just pin him. Just pin him. Do it. One, two, three. And I win that triple threat match. And I get my title shot. There you go. Your winner, Mark Henry, has vanished for reasons. But I have vanquished the loudmouth Ken Kennedy once and for all, I'm pretty sure. Unlocked in the shop, Shane O'Mac package. Attacks look victorious at Armageddon. I'm not really mad anymore, said Mark Henry. A little hungry, maybe. I'm pretty sore. The Royal Rumble. What about my title shot, you guys? I You said I was going to earn one if I had one of the pay-per-view, and I did that, so... Getting immediately into a Royal Rumble storyline would prohibit that, unless you can give me a shot at the next house, show, SmackDown, whatever. That? What? I'm getting screwed again here. I'm getting screwed again. What's up, player? What can I do for you? Well, this must be some sort of oversight. Can you tell me why I'm not in the Royal Rumble this year? Well, I'll be damned. It wasn't intentional. Believe that. You're one of my top guys, dog. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do. SmackDown's 15 slots are all filled. 
The only way I could get you in would be to kick someone else out. Hey, Theodore Long, what is the big idea of making me the number one entrant <laughs> for the Royal Rumble? Now you know as well as I do. This Wait, year we had a random entry. JBL? Well, you better unrandom it and quick. If I have to go in at number one, then with 29 guys I have to beat, anything could happen, even to a wrestling god. So let me get this straight, player. You find being the number one entrant in the Rumble unacceptable? You're damn straight it's unacceptable. A superstar of my stature. How about you, player? All right, I'll take anything I can get at this point. All right, then. You're out. You're in. Two birds, one stone, players. But you, you, you can't do this to me. I just did. Holla, holla, holla. Who's the champion? JBL was the champion. Who's the champion now? Who beat JBL for the championship? These are things I need to know. Okay, player. Okay, player. I'm glad we got your Royal Rumble situation cleared up. And I feel like I owe you one. But I might have a way to fix that, too. Now, I've had a little personnel issue with the number seven entrant. So you're facing him in a match tonight. If you win, you trade numbers, and you move up in the rankings. Good luck. I mean, at least it's not JBL, which is fine. That's cool. That's going to be tomorrow. Uh, but also, he promised me. He said, look, player, if you win these four matches and then win at the pay-per-view, you get a title opportunity, and then they completely forget. Completely forgot about it. Completely screwed me on that. Which is not cool, Teddy. Holla holla. So tomorrow, we begin our ascension to get higher and higher, or later and later, into the Royal Rumble match itself. And I've done that before, so I guess I'll do it again. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.